So um, as all of us at this table know, one of the more important things that we do all year is the uh, approval, the annual approval of the mayor's recommended budget. Um, and my remarks tonight are mostly intended to the public um, to um, give the public an idea of why we do what we do this evening and for those that are here and for those that are watching us on Channel 17 on this beautiful night. Um, so by way of b brief background, um, it's a city charter that the mayor presents a proposed budget to the council um, just prior to the end of the fiscal year and our fiscal year begins uh, July 1. Uh, the Board of Finance um, uh, is uh, part of its charge is to offer input into the budget as it's being drafted and in recent years as we all know um, we've all had an opportunity to uh, participate in the budget process um, through budget meetings that have happened over the last couple of months. Um, this evening as President Nodell noted um, we're going to be voting on seven budget resolutions. Um, we're not only approving the annual operating general fund budget and the budget for the enterprise funds and the special revenue funds, we are also approving a capital budget, pro a capital project budget, um, an annual, the annual tax assessment, and then the approval of some various loans and borrowings, grant anticipation notes uh, for the airport and then public improvement bonds, as well as capital borrowing for um, DPW's uh, water division. Um, so there's a, a lot for us to be doing and considering this evening. Some of these are done every year um, and uh, are, are rather traditional in that sense. Um, this year's budget, as those of us have uh, read and looked at the budget over the last couple of months, um, provides what I would consider to be a, gen a, a generous infusion of progress in terms of not only continuing to strengthen the city's financial position, but also progress and improvements to our city's goal of enhancing our infrastructure, um, our commitment to public safety, and a number of other areas that are important to our community. Um, I think one of the greatest takeaways from the budget this year is that um, perhaps even more so than in other budgets that I've worked on, um, that this budget is a true reflection of the hard work of the administration, the council, and the voters all together. Um, there's a number of things in this budget that we couldn't have done had we not all worked together on, um, uh, on, on things such as, for example, the broad support that we got for the fiscal stability bond four years ago. And that set us on a course of where we are today, which is just a few months ago, having seen a two-step increase in our credit rating. You know, that credit rating has translated into a reduction in the cost of our borrowing. And um, the exciting, one of the exciting parts about this budget is that we are going to be seeing a half penny of savings um, that will be passed on to the voters. Um, and passed on to the taxpayers. Um, most of that comes from a reduction in borrowing. The rest of it comes from a reduction in the cost of our pension. And that again is also a collaborative process. We could not have done it alone. The administration couldn't have done it alone. Um, we did it together. We did it with the employees and with the community. Um, you know, we, we all sat here two weeks ago when the mayor uh, presented, was to present um, his proposed budget two weeks ago. Um, one of the other highlights, and certainly I think for the benefit of the public, is to know that throughout the budget process, um, you know, the mayor and CAO have not worked in isolation on this budget. They have worked with the council, um, they have listened to our budgetary concerns, and I think it was in that spirit of collaboration of compromise, of respect for one another, um, that the mayor's proposed budget includes, at the suggestion of Council President Nodell, another half penny reduction in our tax rate, money that we could spend, but money that we are not going to be spending. And that one penny um, decrease is a one-time reduction um, that will, is, a, is, is from a one, one line item um, in the budget 
that will reduce um, a, an efficiency process from 400,000 to 200,000, and that equates to about a half a penny. Um, you know, by investing in such a, a, a process and hiring a consultant, the objective was to save money in terms of streamline improvements that we felt could save us money in the long run. Um, BED did it last year, and they had a great deal of success with it. Fortunately, uh, the way that government accounting works, it's very possible that based on current financial data and closing out our books for FY16, um, that there may well be unspent monies um, such that funds can be secured to fully fund this line item. But, um, you know, a half penny decrease is a half penny decrease. And it's a savings. Um, and I think it's also a testament to the collaborative process we have embarked on um, in making a budget that hopefully everyone tonight will be able to support. Um, we all know that, you know, our tax rate is about, well, could be but as much as 78 cents on $100 worth of your assessed value of your home. And for many, that is a burden. And um, hopefully the savings will help ease that burden in, in a, at least in a small way. Um, I did want to mention a lot of the things that are in the budget, um, mostly in bullet points so that we don't go, I don't go on too long, but just wanted to mention that, you know, for me, I think that um, one of the things that I celebrate most in this budget is the continued commitment to building our fund balance, which I think is very important. Um, but there's a lot of other things in the budget. Um, increased investment in public safety, a newly created position um, um, to deal with our struggle with opiates that affects many of us in this community, funding for sidewalks, funding for the housing trust fund, funding for the bike path, uh, creation of a risk management position, funding of a community center in the old north end, um, uh, money for needed maintenance improvements, um, and one of the other highlights is the expansion of youth services in the library. So I think there's much to celebrate in this budget. Um, one thing I just would say in closing is that, you know, we deal with this budget all the time, and for many who don't, um, you know, this is a $200 million budget. Um, it's complicated, and it is a delicate structure. You know, you can't change one thing without changing another. Um, it's no easy task to put this together, um, and I think that this is a, this is a good budget. It's a reflection of careful planning, of flexibility, of cautious optimism. Um, it's about making choices and negotiating and getting buy-in. Um, but for the third year in a row, we have a budget that embodies what, in the words of our CAO, is fair, factual, and forward. It's a very good budget. I hope that it will garner the unanimous support of this council. Thank you.